back to another video on my channel so today i am going to take you along my day with me well i say today i'm going to take you along with my day with me like i'm going to take you along the whole day i'm not because it's already halfway through it um it is quarter to three in the evening in the evening in the afternoon at on the 29th of july and i've just got a few bits to do like my room is really messy and i mentioned oh i'm just gonna sit on the floor i mentioned a while ago that i wanted to do like and i'm really sorry about my skin by the way and just all this fun stuff like it's not good but you'll get over it um so <laughs> i just i need i've got a lot of sorting out to do like look at my glitter drawer right now there's also some down there on the floor in a little box that I've used and not put back because that is just me to a T. Um, but like I said, I was um, I did mention a while ago that I wanted to do a full nail art collection tour um, where I actually went into depth about where the nail art and storage and all that sort of stuff is from. And a few of you said that that was a good idea and you'd want to watch it. So I do still have that in mind that like I want to do that. But the only reason I haven't along with not doing the salon tour yet is because my room is just an absolute mess. <laughs> like. I've got so much to do so I just thought it'd be good to take you with me because like I always say if I have you with me then I'll actually get it done instead of messing about um I just need to prop you up for a sec because I just need to sort my hair out so um so basically what I've got to do like I've got I'm really sorry about the lighting situation let's see if I can block that now I can't um yeah lighting's awful but it's fine don't worry about it we're gonna move around in a minute um so yeah i need to like i've just showed you i need to sort out that um drawer with all my glitters i've moved everything around like i've taken glitters out to show to clients and not put them back where they're supposed to be so they're an absolute mess um i need to sort those out and then also i've just got lots of drawers full of stuff but stuff that's either one i don't use or i had a little bold patch there then did anyone see that <laughs> not good um yeah so i have like a lot of things in drawers that i either don't use or they're in drawers and they're just messy so the sort of stuff that i don't use like i do want to obviously put towards a giveaway i have still got the box that i'm filling up as i go along um the next giveaway is coming not really really soon but i did say i was going to do one every thousand like subscribers that i got to so i think the next one will be at four thousand um so like when i get near four thousand i will do the giveaway and then when i hit four thousand obviously that will be when it's announced that sort of thing like i did last time um so yeah i think i need another like 300 subscribers though so it's not coming really really soon so don't don't get too excited but yeah i've got lots and lots of stuff in drawers i need to advertise the rest of the magpie gels that i've still got that i keep forgetting to put on instagram and stuff i've just got lots of drawers full of stuff that is in the way basically so i need to sort it out so i just thought i'd take you along with me um and then obviously when everything is sorted out that's one video done like because this will be the sorting out video and then i'll also be able to do the salon tour and their like collection tour because my room will be tidy and ready for you to actually like delve into my drawers with me so let's get straight to this first of all because i just have like i use this little basket sort of thing where if a client wants a certain set of nails or they want a certain color scheme i can just sort of come over to the drawer like throw a load in the basket and then take it over to my desk because my drawer is not like like the drawer of glitter is not attached to my desk so they can't see from where they're sat um it just saves them looking at absolutely every single glitter at the same time where i can just pick out the colors i think will go and then all they need to do is just pick which ones out of the few that i've selected they like so that is what i've done here which is why it's such a mess um so yeah i need to start putting them back so i'm going to turn you around flip you down here um and then we're going to sort out all these glitters Okay, so I've just finished doing all the glitters. The next drawer is this one. This is my like press-ons drawer. Obviously, I don't actually do press-ons anymore, but I just can't I can't get rid of all this stuff because like I spent a lot of money on it during the lockdown and stuff. But obviously, it's just getting in the way now. So I need to really sort out this drawer. So I'm just gonna take literally everything out. I mean, it's an absolute mess. It's actually quite oh my gosh, it's quite embarrassing how much of a mess this drawer actually is. nightmare so i need to take everything out and basically just put it all back in but neater because at the moment it's just thrown in usually obviously i use those um 
like boxes and what are they called like those what are they called like tray sort of things from b&m and home bargains to store stuff like this in but i don't know why i haven't put these in one of those because i have got lots of them just lying around that i don't use so it's not like i can say it's because i don't have any anyway so the press-ons are up here i'm just going to leave them where they are because i don't Oh, I don't need to move those because I think they're pretty neat to be fair they're all just out of the way so it's all this stuff that I need to sort out so I just found this pot I'm just going to throw all of the like the loose bits in there that fit so all these like shorter sticks I've got some of the longer ones as well that aren't going to fit so I'm just going to keep those separate for now but all the shorter sticks and the glue and probably the wipes as well I'm going to throw all those in here I just I don't know what it is but I just can't like I can't get motivated when my room is a mess like is anyone else like that like don't get me wrong I'm not gonna lie to you I'm not like an overly tidy person like I'm really not um I am definitely more tidy like in terms of like work than I am in my personal life like this room stays a hell of a lot tidier than everywhere else but obviously that's a professional thing like it's my job it's a little bit different um but personally i am a real messy person and it is a nightmare but i still like even though i know i'm a messy person it doesn't stop me from being messy and it doesn't make me like the fact that i'm messy either so it's one of those it's not ideal so i'm just grabbing some stuff and putting it out of the way for now so i'm gonna pop those in there there's some wipes here that i'm gonna just stand up there i think actually It'd be helpful if you could even see what I was doing, wouldn't it? Okay, there we go. So, I'm now just going to pop these in as well. I don't really care about it being, like, neat in the pot as such. Like, I just want them to not be all over the place in the drawer. Because it's just, it's bugging me. Like, even though I don't use that drawer, it's still really annoying. So, I'm just going to pop those there. I've also got some of those like tab things that you can stick the press-ons on with. Um, I think that's it for like the loose stuff. And then these files, I'm probably never going to use them. But again, I can't get you those on because that's just where I am. <laughs> so I'm going to pop those there. So that's much better already. Oh, we've got a little escaped glue there. So that's better already. Um, I put these together like obviously when people were buying them this is those in, those cards in there are instructions cards on how to apply the press-ons so i'm just going to pop those in there i think and then those kits that i pop i put together can just sort of i think they're the things that are really stressing me out because they're so messy they just look untidy I don't even know why I've got this packet of envelopes, but there you go. See, this is what annoys me when things don't fit right. So that's going to have to go like that. They can just... I don't know, those kits are bugging me. I might have to take the kits apart because they're just getting on my nerves that they just don't sit nice anywhere. Okay, that'll do, I think. And if I put some things over the top of those, I'm going to zoom out a bit. I'm just going to make it a bit wider. There we go. Um, and then I've got just lots of like card because these were the cards that I like attached the press-ons to. I've got lots of those. And those cellophane things were for the kits. And then I've got my logos, my logo stickers. But that looks better already. Oh my gosh, I can't get up. <laughs> Getting up with one hand is not as easy as I thought it was. Um, so yeah, that drawer looks better already. That's what I was aiming for with that. So this one has got all the gels that I'm selling from Magpie. I have already wrote all these names down. I just need to write these ones. So I'm going to actually just pop off and do that now real quick. Okay, so I've done that. Um, they're all named now like on my phone, so I can finally sort that out. I now just need to get the giveaway box. So this is the giveaway box looking an absolute mess. This is another thing that I need to organise because all of these foils um, were in boxes that I wanted the box, like where I wanted the boxes. So I basically am going to like sort those out how I usually do my foils, like in those little bas bask, in those little plastic bag, like the, the grip seal ones. I am going to sort those out. I just obviously haven't got round to it yet. 
so as you can see this box is looking quite empty at the moment there's not a hell of a lot of stuff in here there's lots and lots of decals there's some santa ones but they're not all santa um i've now got three of these mini model ones lamps <laughs> it's getting a bit silly now but every time i work with model ones obviously all of their kits come with those in so <laughs> not great but there you go um so we've got like a brush holder we've got some a lot of decals we've got some stickers some more decals some more decals we've got some more stickers we've got some gold leaf some silver leaf and then these stickers that i got from sheen sheen shine shane i don't know who cares and then some little there uh, i don't remember where these are from crystals as well they're cute um so yeah so in this box i'm going to put these five wood lid gels they are beautiful colours and I absolutely love them, but it would just be nice to put them in the giveaway box, I think, because I think you'd appreciate them a lot more than me. So they'll be going in there. And then we've also got a top and base coat, but these will be split between two because obviously I can only post things um, with up to four gels in. So I'm going to have to split them up somehow. Um, but there you go. It's one of those things. Thank you, Royal Mail. And before anyone says anything, I know I can post more with different places, but the one place that I can post them with has really bad reviews and I just don't want to risk it going missing, else the giveaway is pointless. Um, so yeah, I'm going to pop the acrylic powders from Model Ones in there as well. I absolutely love them, don't get me wrong, but obviously they're not my main brand, so it doesn't really make sense for me to keep them. And we've got some of these dots that you can pop on the top of things. Um that are pretty useful and then we've got a ridiculous amount of lamps we've obviously got all of those foils that i just mentioned that i need to bag up and then we've got all these little knick-knacky bits like manicure brushes buffers um cuticle remover things so yeah we've got all of that i do need to sort those foils out and i will obviously get around to it but that's not a priority at the moment just because obviously like i said the giveaway is not coming crazy soon so i'm not too worried about sorting those out just yet um i have got another couple of bits in the post coming and um, that are going to be added into that um so yeah i'm getting there with this slowly but surely these are just the swatches from those model ones products so that drawer is fine this one we've got a bit of all sorts going on they don't need to be in there at all this is absolutely fine because although it looks messy it's technically neat because everything is in one place so that's handy and we're just going to stand those up on their side pop those back to the back the wax strips i'm going to keep there and then these little mini ones i think i'm also going to put in some giveaways as well but like i said i am just going to open that and put them in there um i i can only send like a certain amount in the post so it'll be like last time like not last time the time before last when i did a giveaway of like a few things I did two giveaways like it might be like two or three boxes and I might just do some like mini giveaways as well like where I literally just give away like like just four of these and stuff like that like you know just open up a few little tiny giveaways so there's more winners but you win a little bit less if that makes any sense because winning anything is fun so we'll go with that um so yeah this draws a bit of a random one like pretty much all of the others it's just got lots of swatch sticks in it it's got some magnets in for the cat size move those just got swatches everywhere of different things and then in the bottom this is just more mess we've got card no idea why oh i didn't know i'd got that i've got a spare box to be able to put tips in because we all know what i'm like with ordering tips that's tinting stuff so you can go in there with those they've fallen over already <laughs> um and then we've got some more spare tubs a ruler which is a bit random but there you go is that that's some more polishes from born pretty that i could give away again it's annoying because they come in a set of six and i would only be able to give away four in one parcel to be fair i might just do it where i send the giveaway boxes in two parcels i don't know why i didn't think of that in the start to be honest so then at least one person could actually get the whole set they'll just be sent separately if that makes any sense this giveaway box is getting pretty full the more i look in these drawers there's another lamp there from model ones just in case three isn't enough might as well add another one that can stay 
Uh, that's clearly rubbish. I'm just not very good at threading. Oh no, it's not rubbish, it's silk. I was looking for this the other day actually to do a repair and I just didn't have a clue where I'd kept it. So that's good to know. And we've got more wax strips and then just loads of these bags that I put my foils in. Like these never run out. I think I bought a thousand when I first started buying these and obviously I've still got like a ridiculous amount left. Actually, I think I bought a little bit less than that and then I used all those and I just thought, do you know what? I'm never going to need like... I can never have enough of these things because I buy foils all the time and that's what I keep those in. So, you know, let's just do it. Let's just get some more. So that's that drawer. I'm going to put these back in because I usually keep one of these pots with my little pots in that I get from Amazon that I put my glitters in. But at the moment, I don't have any spare. So I need to order some of those because I do have a glitter that is not potted at the moment because I have run out of pots. So we're getting there slowly but surely. I do have a client in in about half an hour, so I do need to get a little wriggle on. I'm just going to put all the rest of those spare pots in there. And then, oh, I forgot about the card. I'm just going to put that back in there. I don't, no, I'm not. I'm going to put it. I've got a drawer up here just for literally just for card that. I used to use as my backgrounds for videos so in here i've sorted all these out as you saw at the beginning they're all nice and neat now this drawer is a bit of a mess but it's not really one that i can do much about i am also going to give away these chromes um but i'm not going to take them out of here yet because they are holding these glitters in place and they look much better when they've got like i can't think what i'm trying to say when they've got something there keeping them still they look much better so i'm gonna leave that there for now until i actually do the giveaway um we'll probably give away these really cute little rosalind um platinum gels they're really really lovely but they're very similar to the brill bird glamour gels and i've got a lot of that well i've got all of those so don't really need them as much um obviously they're just the swatches of the chromes that i've just said i'm going to give away so that's exciting got those in there um so this this drawer doesn't really need anything doing to it i don't really use it all that much and then this one is obviously the tia's beauty drawer and that is all nice and neat as well because i'm i'm pretty good at putting things back where they're supposed to be sometimes <laughs> so yeah, I did need to do my, my uh, wall as well, but I did that earlier because obviously that's something that clients see straight away. Um, so I got that done like off camera, obviously, because I needed to do it ASAP. Um, in terms of everywhere else, I don't think that anywhere else really... My desk needs tidier, but that's just because of the last client that was in. This drawer really bothers me because it always looks messy. Um, everything in it is tidy. Like, no, it's not. It's not tidy. Everything in it is organised. Obviously, like, all of the decals are in the books and stuff. But it just looks... This is what I don't like about the books. Like, I'd like to have the books, like, on a shelf and then just stand them up like books are. But I can't do that because I just don't have enough wall space for more shelves on the wall. So, yeah, this drawer does bother me a little bit. It always looks a bit messy. This one is pretty easy. I have got a couple of foils under there that I need to pop back in the in here but this is obviously just like my foil drawer so it's pretty easy it's all just you know it's easy um then my brushes drawer i do need to sort the brushes out because they are a mess um they're not where they're always usually are like this used to be just my acrylic and gel brush drawer but obviously all of my erin brushes are in there now and these are all in there and they shouldn't be in blah 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 so i do need to sort those out but i'm not gonna do it now because i'm not too worried about that and then here we've got my stamping drawer, which also needs sorting out. But for now, look at the state of this desk. <laughs> um, my client is due within the next 10 minutes. So I am going to cut this video off here. Um, I think, to be honest, I'm probably going to leave it here full stop because I don't want it to be a really, really long video because these videos do tend to go on for way too long. Um, let's just have a quick look. I think this side doesn't need organising. What I do need to do, and that you all know that I need to do because I've mentioned in a video before that I haven't got around to it, is finish swatching all of these colour gels that are in these pots because I still haven't used them yet because I've only swatched this many um, and there's still quite a few left for me to do. So I definitely need to get around to doing that because it's been a while now since I bought those. This drawer is absolutely fine. And then the bottom drawer down here is also fine. It looks really rubbish, but it's one of those things like I know what is in here and when I need the things that I can grab them quickly so it's not a problem so yeah I'm going to end this video here thank you so much for watching and obviously like I said do look out for that nail collection tour um, nail art collection tour and salon tour because it is coming very very soon 
and well yeah that's it thank you so much for watching i'll be back soon bye